What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I'm going to open up four of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Clash of Rebellion Special Editions. I happened to get some of these uh, through, uh, I think it was uh, Troll and Toad when they had their Black Friday sale. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, just thought I would tell you guys, I, I made a video too whenever they had all the Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday and all that stuff. And, uh, of course, I picked up a few things. You guys know me. I open up so much on this channel that, of course, when there's a sale going on, you gotta, you gotta get more. I mean, obviously, what else would I do with the money? Try to eat with it? No. What, what's wrong with you guys? We gotta get more cards. So, especially a set like this, too. So, let's go ahead, open these up, and, uh, see what we get. Also, too, if you guys want to check out my TCG Player link, it is, like, the top link in the description. If you buy anything through their website, and you click on my link and stuff, too, it will help support the channel. And also, you can use the code CYBERNOT, you know, whether that or the link. Either way, it really helps out, and it's been helping me quite a bit because, again, YouTube changes are coming up, and I don't know if I'm going to be affected or not. I, I got to admit, pretty nervous. So if you want to do that, I would really appreciate it, or even if you want to become a channel member. I'm kind of pushing for that kind of stuff a little bit more lately because, again, I, I don't know what's going to be happening. I'm, I'm pretty nervous, actually, on that. I'm kind of not really looking forward to 2020 for that reason. But uh, here are the different promos you can get, and uh, let's get to it. Let's stop being... <laughs> I always feel bad advertising things, but also I want to be able to keep doing this, you know? So it's kind of one of those things. Hopefully you guys don't mind if I mention some of that stuff very so often now because of it. I'm trying not to be a sellout or whatever, but I want to be able to keep doing this for forever, as long as I can. You know, as long as you guys are still watching. So, I, I hope that's okay. Anyway, we have Ultima Zulkin, and then, uh, let's see, uh, Engraver of the Mark. Oh yeah, he's like the Bloodborne looking dude. That's what he always reminds me of anyway. Let's get to it. And also, like and subscribe too. I'll go ahead and throw that in. It helps. <laughs> it, it helps a ton, actually. Uh... Okay, uh, how do I do this? Wait a minute. Um, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll do like this, I guess, okay? First off, <laughs> we have a Performa Pal, Silver Claw. Then, Roma Jar, Performa Pal, Camel Lump. Then, is it a common? Okay. <laughs> Hat Tricker, I don't, I didn't know how it was going to go. A Knight Champion, and then, we got Red Eyes uh, Archfiend of Lightning. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's a good one to get. It's, it's a Red Eyes card, so you guys know I'm going to be a fan of that. I'll, I'll just admit it. Anything else? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> At least he gave us a hollow, even if it is a weird pack. I'll say, I wasn't sure how I should open that then. All right. Some of the knights as well. Keeper of the Shrine. Then uh, Crystal Rose. And also, ah. I was hoping maybe we had one on that one, too. But since it was actually the way it should be, I was kind of wondering. And remember, too, this is one of those sets where you you don't uh, always get a hollow. You're not guaranteed one. But you do have a chance of getting ultimate rares and ghost rares because it's the older days. So we'll see if we can get one of those. That'd be cool. Of course. <laughs> well, it's Red Eyes, the XC monster. Oh, yep. It's like that again. It's the XC monster. That's the ghost rare. So if we got one of those, that'd be pretty cool, obviously. All right. So Raid Raptor. I'm just going to do it like this, I guess. Ignite. Another one. DD Pandora. And. Okay, we got a DDD Oracle King D Arc. So, okay. I guess even if the pack's weird like that, you're not guaranteed a hollow. I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of this, really. Anything else out of that? Nah, unfortunately not. I was hoping maybe that was a sign that we were getting another hollow. I guess not. Still really weird, though. We got some mispacks going on or something. Hope that's a good sign in the future. I mean, I'm glad we at least got a hollow out of our first special edition. Okay, uh, Fright for Tiger, and then Destruction Sword Flash. Pretty good. And we got like one of each of the promos then now. Might not hurt to get some extra Buster Blader cards anyway, because that uh, Link Monster you're getting is uh, pretty good, <laughs> obviously. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but uh, there's already some stupid plays going on there. Buster Blader actually got some really good support. Kind of surprised. I'm glad they did, though. Oh, uh, that, that was a sync preview card for this one. It's that Sky Dragoons of Draconia. Kyoto Waterfront. That's true. We do have chances for uh, some Kaijus. It's always kind of neat to see the sync preview card, because then it reminds me of sync previews from back then. Always nostalgic. Have Ignite Lancer. And, oh, I thought maybe we had a hollow on that one. Black Metal Dragon. There you go. There's a there's the Red Eyes card. And last one for this special edition. Okay. 
Come on, card of the cards. I want to see some red eyes hollows, you know? I want more red eyes hollows, basically. And on the desk bots. Side effects. <laughs> that one's always kind of funny. Then we have uh, Mandragon. And another red eyes. Well, I guess the actual red eyes, if you want to go with that. A red eyes black flare dragon. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, well, we got, uh, you know, Red Eyes, uh, well, Summon Skull, basically. And then also you get uh, Red Eyes himself, his Gemini version. So that is really cool, too. I'm really looking forward to that new fusion that's going to be coming out. I don't know when we're getting it in English. It hasn't been announced at the time of recording. But it's Dark Magician and Red Eyes fused together. Looks awesome. I, I can't wait to even get the Japanese version. I think that's December for them. I guess it's this month. I I'm going to do an opening on it when it's out. Of course, the Japanese and English. But uh, I need it, <laughs> basically, is what I'm getting at. Same two promos. I actually need it to live. That, that's just how it is. It's Dark Magician and Red Eyes fused together like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a fan fiction from the old days, right? <laughs> basically. Then we have DDD uh, Marksman King Tail. More DDD monsters. Hopefully they get their link monster soon. I feel like we'll get it. Maybe in that same set that gives us Needle Fiber. I know it has a new name, but it, it's, it's going to be Needle Fiber for me. <laughs> the new name, I don't know how you say it. But they kind of act like they're going to give us a bunch of Link Monsters we're missing. So hopefully that's the case. Mandragon. And aw. You were good luck last time. And okay, last pack. It helped us last time with that too, so we'll see. Heart of the Cards helped me out here. I'd really love to see an Ultimate Rare or Ghost Rare, just because we have a chance for that, so. And I miss those rarities. Have Magical Abductor, and, well, that's actually a really good super. There we go. Brilliant Fusion. That actually was one of the more expensive cards of the set. Now it's been reprinted, I think, a couple of times. Either way, though, still a great card. I mean, it's good for Gym Knights and uh, for other decks that wanted to throw in the Gym Knight engine for bringing out Seraphonite and stuff, too. So that is actually really good to get. That was one of the best cards of the set, honestly, too. It's kind of funny that Gym Knights, you didn't see them for such a long time. They got new support, and, uh, yeah, they're still pretty decent with their Link Monster and everything as well. I hear about them every so often, so... And looks like Fright for Tiger, and then, oh, this time we got uh, Engraver. A little mixed up that time. Fright for Tiger was probably the, the big reprint of these two. I remember when the Shona Jump promo was actually like 40 bucks or something. It was pretty expensive. So this was a good reprint for that. Trick Clown, another good card from this set. Then we have an Extra Buck and Void Imagination. Oh, that's pretty cool. I... Don't really know uh, what the builds are for Infernoids these days. I know they're actually coming back lately and are actually pretty good in the meta. So hopefully this is a card they need because I've been debating on building them. I don't know. I haven't kept up with Infernoids. I'll, I'll be honest. Too many decks to keep up with lately. <laughs> but maybe that's good to get. Either way, I'll take the hollow, of course. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to complain. Especially when you aren't guaranteed one. But hopefully that's a good one to get now. I have, I have no idea. Which is one of those I have not kept up with. Ah, chicken game. There you go. Oh, that was the set. Oh, man. I don't miss that card too much. <laughs> Let's see. Mandragon. Yeah, that was an annoying one. And last pack. And I can say it for this opening, too. Can we end with a hollow? Heart of the cards. Help me out. You guys help me out as well. Hit that like button. Share your energy with me. Let's end with something awesome. Uh, try for something over a super, I guess, even. Let's see. I keep wanting to say Ultimate Rare, which I would love to get an Ultimate Rare. <laughs> okay. Well, focus, please. There we go. Knight. Oh, man. Did I call it? I think we might have something. <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil it, though. All right. So, first off, we have Ignite Burst and... We ended with an ultimate rare. There we go. I thought I could see the edge of it. And it's one of the main cards I love from this set. It is Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Yeah, I can't believe we actually got that one. That is so cool. Uh, Red Eyes Monster, you guys know, that's my favorite of the big three. You know, when it's Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, or Red Eyes, I'm more of a Red Eyes guy, but any of the three, I'm going to be a fan of. I hope one day we even see like a Blue Eyes, Red Eyes somehow fusion or something. I'd love that. But anyway, that is so cool, especially getting an ultimate rare because, again, can't get those these days, which really sucks. That's like my favorite rarity. So, yeah, it is amazing to see that, and one of my 
favorite cards, especially that came out around this time. So let me get a sleeve for this too. I have some next to me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to be very careful on that one. That definitely deserves a sleeve. I still even have a couple of ghost rares of this one because, again, it was red eyes. I had to pick them up when they were cheaper. I don't know if they're that expensive these days or what, but you don't turn that down. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slap a like on this video. Like I said, it helps out tremendously. And of course, too, like I said, check out TCG Player Link or even become a member of my channel. If something does happen, we're going to continue somehow. So <laughs> that, that's just going to be the plan. But either way, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I have plenty of stuff because obviously I bought probably more than I should <laughs> with Black Friday. And uh, yeah, can't wait to open it for you guys. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.